A man is claiming that he is going to let a massive anaconda swallow him whole and then bust out of the anaconda. That's right, this is kind of disturbing. Documentary filmmaker has stirred up controversy last week after announcing his intention to encase himself in what he is describing as a snake-proof suit and then being eaten alive by an anaconda before forcing the snake to release him. Very little detail is available, but Paul Rosioli describes himself as a naturalist based in southern Peru. He is a published author. He's written a book with uh, kind of telling his stories of the time that he spent in the uh, Amazon rainforest called Mother of God, An Extraordinary Journey into Uncharted, Uncharted Tributaries of the Western Amazon. So this is pretty crazy. The Discovery Channel's website is announcing that this video will be shown on December 11th, but contains no further details. Pretty interesting stuff. So Allegedly, this is a stunt that's somehow going to save the rainforest, but people who actually know things about anacondas say that this is going to be terrible for the snake that he selects to let eat him. So it could look like this. So we know that some snakes eat their prey alive, but there have been cases of swallowed animals escaping alive as well. Nevertheless, this experience would be terribly, terribly traumatic for the snake. Reptile care websites stress the negative effects. Here's what the internet says. Regurgitation and vomiting usually go hand in hand when it comes to keeping snakes, but hopefully it can be avoided at all costs. The reason that this is so dangerous, one, when they regurgitate, it involves undigested food being expelled from the esophagus rather than the stomach. This is not good for the snake because bodily fluids that anaconda use to swallow and digest their prey are not easily replaced. So even if nothing goes wrong with the swallowing, this is problem two, this guy might have to use a knife and cut himself out of the anaconda's stomach. Now, I don't know how this could be considered something that's supposed to help the environment, but allegedly this is supposed to be good for the Amazon. I think it's totally insane, but let me know what you think in the comments below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe.